Hey, kids. He's back! Nice place you've got here, Don! Glad to see you made it all right, buddy. Scared the living daylights out of us. No offense, dude. None taken! Yeah, Fishmouth was interesting. Met your dad finally, peace. Oh yeah? Is he all right? He's good. He's in a steeple, waiting for a sign. Sounds like dad. Can we please skip the niceties and put our heads together? Right. I made my way into the butcher's laboratory. Ah! Sorry, bad flashback. Would you please excuse me? Sure thing, Otis. Go get some rest. The butcher. He wasn't still there, was he? I just missed him. What did you find that could be relevant? MCHK seemed to be an important acronym. What's that about? I've got a theory. MC might stand for... Massive creature? I mean, that's what it supposedly is. As for HK... Half Goofa King? Massive creature, half Goofa King. Ah, I might be very wrong on that. Either way, he apparently used the cult to get the monster bred and fed, and then ran away with it to who knows where. The half Goofa. What, what will he do with it? Huge biological weapon under your control. I can think of a number of things. Oh boy. We need to get this guy. That's great and all, but you know, my problem? Remember what this is really all about? The Butcher and Olmstein? There's a connection there. We gotta stop always being one step behind him. The festival. Fishmouth really knows how to party. What I can say for sure is that the Esoteric Order's been brought down a few notches. And so is the Starry Knowledge Cult. Nice going, man! Wasn't me who did it. It was a short, weird little girl who really loves her fishies. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, other than that, I'm afraid Fishmouth and its creepy inhabitants remain a mystery. For now. The stabilizing element, Olmstein's constant. What did that say again? A terrible storm and three bells ringing throughout its shell. Awaken the beast. What are your thoughts on it? The end of all this. What Peace said when I called you guys. It makes sense. I just don't know that I want all this to end with a beast awakening. None of us really do. I stand by my conviction. Just like the Necronomicon, this is all just ever-changing chaos. So Olmstein wrote the ending down and set it in stone. Wrote the ending? What does that even mean? He is not like us. Can't you grasp the concept of divinity? If he wrote it down, it will happen. Oh, man. Where are we on Olmstein's sign? I'm stumped. What do you think it could be? Ah, uh, constellation? See, that was the first thing we thought of, but it doesn't match any known stars. Still feels like something viewed from above. Wait, I have an idea. Hand over that mouse buzz. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. I'm not prying into Don. I'm not prying. I'm not prying. I'm not prying into Don's personal files. Maybe it's a map.
There was a bell in Paris. There was a bell in Forum Maris. Don, you said my dad's in a steeple in Fishmouth. There's a bell there, too. What do you know? It's Point Nemo! Point what? Earth's pole of inaccessibility. It's the one point in the ocean that's farthest from any land. There should be nothing there. Hmm. Maybe look it up in uh, recent news on that, uh, uh, the, th the thing there. Looking it up on the thing. Okay, what I'm finding are crazy conspiracy theories about expeditions to Point Nemo going back more than a century. Anything remotely recent? Decades ago, a ship called the Alert, rumored to be carrying a huge cargo of explosives, never returned, apparently. Sounds, uh, encouraging. So we've got three bells, plus Point Nemo. That's got to be it. We're going, right? Hold your horses, buddy. Say we go there. What do we do about the bells? I can get a hold of Vlad. I can find a way to reach Dad. I got Serge eating out of my palm, so I'm sure we can coordinate. Ring them all at once. We can awaken the beast, but do we want to? Or does that help the Butcher? Think about it. If he ran away with it, it means that the Butcher's in control of this monster. This beast, right? Just a theory, but these bells might snap the creature out of it. Yeah, three bells ringing thousands of miles away. Completely realistic. No, it makes a lot of sense, and it fits the constant. Let's get in touch with all three of them and tell them to, uh, wait for a sign. We're a creative bunch. We'll come up with something should we need to, right? Preparedness has always been our forte. What do I really have to lose at this point? The end of the world it is. It's just the farthest point from land. Doesn't really end there. It doesn't, huh? Tell me more. This is going to be one long trip. Ladies and gents, it's kinda crazy, but we're really here. As far away from civilization as humanly possible. Not just humanly. Oh, right. Three months worth of rent money says what we're looking for is on the top of that mountain over there. I don't know. Did you see that crazy looking beach? I think our best bet is to split up and- Search for clues? Well, yeah, actually. It might increase our chances of finding this butcher. Peace, how about we take the mountain? Well, Cat, I hope you brought sunblock, cause it's time to hit the beach. Buzz, don't make this worse than it has to be. I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I'm nervous. Nervous? Okay, scared. I'm really, really freaking scared. Let's do this. And whoever finds the butcher first? Actually, I, I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed. Point Nemo. Hopefully, it all ends here, once and for all. Is it me, or does this place seem off somehow? And for some reason, that huge, not-quite-full moon up there is particularly bothersome. Gibbous. What? Gibbous. Almost, but not quite fully revealed. It's what you call that kind of moon. Whatever you say, Madam Scientist. Let's just... What? What is this? I don't know, but you look repulsive. What is this? What have I turned into? You sort of look like discarded deli meat slapped together. No, what? This is not me. You just got transformed, against your will, into something you despise. Sucks, huh? I'm an abomination, kitty. But I didn't even do anything. Oh god. Oh no. Do you think this is permanent? 
Apparently not. Oh! Oh, what now? What do I look like now? Um, basic? Blocky? Everything is squares! I'm squares! Ah! Whoa. Yeah, I kind of prefer the previous look, to be honest. What fresh hell? What even am I? Some kind of... Um... Uh, you're like, um... Uh, I give up. I feel a panic attack coming. This place is really doing a number on you. Wait! I'm back! Oh, praise the infinite universe, I am back! That was scary as... I hate to be the ever-cynical one, but I have a bad feeling. I think it's... What? Yep, it's cyclical. No, no, no! The bad news is, you seem to keep transforming. The good news, it's only happening to you. What can we do, Kid A? Suck it up and press on, Kerwin. <sighs> You're right. Let's keep going. Apparently, that's what they call a gibbous moon. Almost completely visible, but not quite. Were I more literarily inclined, I'd say that it's almost metaphoric in a way. But it's just a stupid moon. She's schooled me enough on moon phases today. Bizarre, moss-covered monoliths are strewn all over this beach. I can see disturbing hieroglyphs all over them. No idea what they stand for. This place makes zero sense. Not worth bother. Don't know what to do. It's a normal looking archway. I mean normal considering the circumstances. Looks very passable through. I can't pass through for some reason. Huh, come on, kid, eh? I don't know how to describe it, but it looks both painterly and pasted on. Really strange stuff. I can't pass through for some reason. Something's stopping me from passing through this arch. So at least we're putting this insanity to use somehow. Just keep going, please. Oh, God! It's like a living, throbbing, organic archway. It's grossing me out, man. It's a really blocky arch thing. It's like it's not fully loaded or something. Very pixelated. I know I'll have to, but I dread even coming close to it. That's where we need to make it to. Man, I hope Don and Peace have it easier than us. Looks like quite the climb. Not going further without Kid A. Something's stopping me from passing through this arch. Kitty, help me out. How do we get past these arches? It's got to have something to do with this morphing business. Huh. 
By the way, I've been meaning to tell you. I think... I think I feel the Necronomicon, uh, vibrate. Maybe it's just you, shaking in your pants? Mm, maybe. It's the dreaded Necronomicon! Whoa! What the heck did you do, Kerwin? It worked! The Necronomicon actually worked on you! Did you think I wasn't going through enough already? Look at me! I know, I know, but this might be helpful. Uh... I hate you, Buzz. Good to know you stay the same, regardless of definition. Oh no, this is insulting. I don't know, you actually look kinda cute. Shut up, you monster. Well, at least you can turn me back to normal. It's a wall of huge boulders. Not very compact, though. You can almost see through the openings between them. I wonder what's behind them. It's like a... like this stone thing with holes in it. It's called a steel. How do you know these things? Those holes, though, looks like it might have a function. I can't reach that high up. Oh, what the heck is this now? Much like myself, everything is shifting between these four states. I'm cool with one of them. Bonkersville. I'm doing my best to ignore the insanity surrounding me. Gigantic pits, and there's bubbling lava down there. Encouraging. Gigantic pits, and there's bubbling lava down there. Incur A magic looking circle. It's on that disgusting, throbbing island there. Maybe I could somehow activate it. Doesn't seem to do anything by itself. I think we'll have to work together on this one, Kid A. All right, I trust you. I'm officially in full collab mode.
I wonder what's behind the boulders in that rocky passage. Thinking of bringing him down? Yeah, just uh, haven't been hitting the gym lately. There's probably a more intellectual way. Magic looking circle on a relatively normal looking island. Maybe I could somehow activate it. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I still don't get it. It's the states. The states need to fit. Come on, we got this. to the plane.
I can't reach that high up. Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? I don't think I have enough limbs. Hey, can you try and see if that thing activates? Impulsive, but pretty darn useful. Looks like a statue of two strange looking beings. Their heads are trilobed and weird. Trilobed? I'm impressed. They seem really interested in sword holding, dude. They're creeping me out. I don't want to. I think she's helped enough in here. Half of a carved out globe on some kind of pedestal. Is this supposed to be a planet? An asteroid? Kind of looks like one of those trilobed beings is peeking out from inside it. Eerie. I'm not having her climb in there. Where have I seen this branch before? Ugh, it's killing me. Oh, wait, that's right. Painted on the wall right across from the dorm. What the heck? Dude, this is freaky. Nah, there's... It looks pretty firmly attached to the spheroid. There's a definite vibration, but I don't think I need it here. They feel unchangeable. A pretty badly damaged statue of a humanoid holding a sword. That sword looks really neat. It's really weird. Whenever I look at it, I kind of feel the Necronomicon vibrating. I think she's helped enough in here. Uh, I don't... Blocky. little bit less disturbing now. I'll just pick it up. I'll just pick it up. I'll... Can you believe this morphing craziness? It's even worse for me, so don't complain. Worse? You only shapeshift when I want you to. Exactly. Dude, what is the story here? Feels like we're, I don't know, shifting between universes here. How can this exist on Earth? I'm betting anything that it's not a natural phenomenon. There's got to be some influence that's only exerted in this place. 
What influence? Where from? Look at the sky, Buzz. Does it look normal to you? Uh... Yeah. Another magic circle. It's on top of an organic looking pillar. Kitty! Are you dead? Are you alive in there? Still kicking, Schrodinger. Oh god! Are you okay? Can you breathe? What do we do? Yeah, I can breathe all right. There are mechanisms inside this thing. Well, that's good to hear, because I see nothing on my end here. We can't let this slow us down, Buzz. Try and figure out your way forward while I work on this. On it. These are the final words of Captain Johansson of the Alert. I don't have any kind of recording device. I only hope this ungodly place with all its strained magic will somehow retain my last utterances. Whoever you are, if you can hear this, know that this wretched place you've made your way to must be wiped off the face of the earth. That is what me and my shipmates on the alert came here to do. Once we deciphered the sign, we left Oslo for Point Nemo with a ship full of explosives and fuses, hell-bent on destroying this island where the evil book is at its most powerful. I won't waste my breath on my exploits concerning the Necronomicon. If you are here, you must be aware of the generations it has tricked into playing its awful roles and then led here to be made to disappear. When we embarked on this journey, we knew full well of the dozens that have failed before us. However, we have accomplished more than any of them. This horrible island is surrounded by active underwater volcanoes, and I can only hope that we've managed to rig them all to explode to trigger their eruption. We have started with the detonator on the highest mountain peak and worked our way down. It did not come without sacrifices. The crew was driven crazy by the monstrosity of what they kept transforming into. By the time we were setting charges underwater, myself and first mate Green were the only sane men left. That's when we saw it. My god, we had found more than we had bargained for. The thing that should not be. We were driven mad with fear. I fled in terror and somehow clawed my way into this hall. I am probably on the side of the island we had not explored and I see no way out of this hall where my bones will find their final resting place. I can only hope that Green set all the fuses before he lost his mind. Or his life. If someone ever hears this, the detonator on the highest peak, bury this place and the horror that slumbers beneath. Someone's earthly remains. Someone who never made it out of here. I feel the Necronomicon vibrating as I look at them. Let's... These are the fi- I don't have any kind- Who- What? If you- However- They- We- It didn't- That- My- Oh no, some kind of knot inside this big stone slab. How many more obstacles do you have in store for me, Point Nemo? I've got to find a way to solve this.
I've rearranged it. Nothing changed. I've rearranged it. Nothing changed. Desperate times called for desperate measures. Kitty, can you hear me? I've opened this door. We can keep going now. You can keep going. This contraption is way more complicated than I had anticipated. Go on ahead without me, Buzz. What do you mean? I can't just leave you behind trapped like this. Didn't you hear that ghost thing? All the volcanoes around here are rigged to blow up. Just go, Buzz. Find the butcher. Don and Peace might need you. I'll be okay. I'll try to make my way out of this trap. Kitty... I can't. Just go already. And be careful, numbskull. Kitty, I love you. Get the f out of here, Kerwin. <laughs> <laughs>